Hey, what's up, BFL fam? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, my top 12 designer fragrances for summer 2019. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thanks so much for tuning in today, everyone. As always, I really do appreciate it. Why don't we start today off by giving this video a big thumbs up and showing some BFL love. If this video reaches 500 likes, I will do a giveaway of two of the fragrances listed on this list today. Details at the end of the video. As always, when I do these top lists, I always like to start them off by saying that these aren't the best designer fragrances in the whole wide world. These are just my personal choices, the ones that I like and I'll be wearing this summer and want to share with you. I also did a citrus list with Steven, which I put out this weekend, and there are some great summer choices on that video as well. So I'm going to do this as I always do, short and sweet, quickly, I'll run through all of them. And uh, yeah, not to take up too much of your time, here we go. At number 12, from the house of East St. Laurent, we have Y. Eau de Parfum. This was released in 2018. It was composed by Dominique Robillon. It's got bergamot, ginger, and apple. It's much heftier than the original Eau de Toilette from 2017, and I really do like this one, and I think it'll be great for the summer. At number 11, a classic from the House of Chanel. This is Platinum Egoiste, released in 1993, composed by Jacques Poles. It's a woody floral musk, and I really, really Still to this day, even with reformulations, I really do like this one, and I think it's a great summer fragrance for sure. And number 10, I'm sorry, I know, I know, I wasn't a big advocate for this particular fragrance when it first came out, but it grew on me and it's become quite a over-talked about fragrance. Number 10 from Dior, this is Sauvage Eau de Toilette composed by Francois de Marchi. It's an aromatic fougere, and it was released in 2015. Moving along to number nine, we have Terre d'Hermes Eau Très Fraîche. It's a woody aromatic, which was released in 2014, and it's still, to this day, a great summer fragrance. At number eight, we have Gentleman Givenchy, released in 2017, composed by Olivier Cresp and Natalie Larson. I recently reviewed the Cologne, which released this year, but I find that this one actually lasts better on my skin than the Cologne version. So for this video, I went with the Eau de Toilette from 2017. Moving along to number seven, we have from the house of Giorgio Armani, we have from 2015, Acqua di Profumo, an aromatic aquatic composed by Alberto Morillas, the perfumer of the year. He's done a lot of fragrances. It could have been the Aqua de Joe Absolute Instinct. I really did like that one, but honestly, the one that I really, really love still to this day is the Profumo from 2015. So for those of you who are fed up with the hype on Aqua de Joe Profumo, I'm really sorry, but I still do love that one. Number seven on my 2019 designer fragrance list. Moving on to number six, one that I think is a modern classic. It was released 10 years ago in 2009. It's from the house of Tom Ford, one of my favorite houses, as you know. It is Grey Vetiver. This is the Eau de Parfum Concentration. It is a woody, spicy fragrance, and it is one of the best modern vetiver fragrances, in my opinion. That's all there is to say. Coming in at number five from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. It was released this year. It is Light Blue Sun Pour Homme. It's a woody aromatic. It has some of my favorite notes, coconut and osmanthus. It's a salty, sun-tanny, beachy, holiday type fragrance. And I think it's one of the better flankers in the whole Light Blue series for men, in my opinion. And number four, a classic from the house of Versace. This is Man Au Fresh. It was released in 2006. It was composed by Olivier Crest. It's one of my favorite freshies and 
You can't go wrong with this one in the hot summer months. Everybody loves this one. At number three, from the House of Prada, we have Loam. This is a Woody Sheepra. It was released in 2016. It's clean. It's neroli. It's fresh. It's crowd pleasing. It's perfect in the summer. And uh, at number three on my summer list for 2019, Prada Loam. And number two from the House of Dior, we have Aqua Fahrenheit. This was composed by Francois de Machy. It was released in 2011. It's got violet. It's got leather. It's got citrus. It's a citrusy version of the one that we've come to know, the original one, but not quite as petroly or that other gasoline type note. This is a fresher version of that and really, really well done. Dun, da, 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 number one. You probably know because I've loved this one in the past and it's gotten high marks on my list. It is from the house of Jean Varvatos. This is Artisan Pure. It was released in 2017. It was the last fragrance that was composed by Rodrigo Flores Rue. He's done all of the John Vavatos fragrances since 2004. John Vavatos, John Vavetos, for all you grammar police. I said both ways, so there you go. Well, there you have it, friends. My top 12 designer fragrances for summer 2019, short and sweet like I always do. The giveaway. If the video reaches 500 likes, I will do a giveaway of your choice of these two bottles. You can choose from Dior Sauvage or the Toilette 100 ml bottle, or you can choose John Barbados Artisan Pure 125 ml bottle. This can be worldwide. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Like this video, then leave one comment down below if you enjoyed most about this video today. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon so you don't miss notifications on new reviews, new content, giveaways, and all the fragrance fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and I will see you next time. Number 10 from Dior. This is Sauvage Eau de Toilette, composed by Francois de Machy. It's an aromatic fougier released in two. Composed by Francois. For this 2019 summer list, I went with the original Givenchy, Gentleman de Givenchy. So for this summer list 2019, I went with the original Gentleman. <laughs> and number seven. This could have very well been one of the recent flankers that was released this year from the house of Aqua de Jo. No. I don't want that. At number two from the house of Dior, we have Aqua Fahrenheit Complove. <laughs> Moving on to number six, we have, let's move these over. Oh, you can see it. Oh my God. And um, I do like that release from this year, the one I just oh. Well, there you have it, friends. My thumb. Well, there you have it, friends. My 2019. Well, there you have it, friends. My top 12 designer fragrances for summer 2019. Short and sweet like I always do. The giveaway. If the video reaches 500 likes, I will do a giveaway of your choice of two bottles. They are Dior Sauvage or the Toilette 100 ml or the John Barbados Artisan Pure 120 Yeah, I know a lot of you are kind of fed up with the um, Aqua Dijo Profumo. I know it's gotten a lot of hype through the years, but for me, I really still do like it. And um, I do like that release from this year, the one I just, oh God!